years now I've been a rockin' and a rollin' and don't wanna stop My wheels keep on turning, my brakes have stopped working, I can't just walk I live life on the road and up on the stage What keeps me going? People screaming out my name Yeah, it's my life, it came with a prize but became my Started right, and I ain't ever gonna stop turning it up loud. Get lost in the sound, work in the crowd, and every little town that I go from coast to coast, from coast to coast, from coast to coast, from coast to coast, from coast to coast. By the pier, so we can get up fifth gear, anchor it away the sand, and asphalt meet up, hand in hand, slide off for a real good view of a bunch of cues looking back at you. We say sway to the beat, the jukebox kicking all the beach, and roll like a tide, rocking that buoy side to side. Let me take you by the hand, I'll pull you into my skin. We ain't got nothing but this guy's. So come on, baby, let me watch you sway. Let me take a step back to get a good view of you dancing to the rhythm like one and two. And then you give me that look to move on into your show line and take Come on, let's sway to the beat The jukebox kicking on the beach And roll like a tide Rocking that buoy side to side Let me take you by the hand I'll pull you into my skin We ain't got nothing but blue skies for this So come on, baby, let me watch you sway Light on you, 
step right in to my line of view. Come on and sway to the beat. For jukebox playing some line of rich and roll like the tide. Rocking that buoy side to side. Let me take you by the hand. I'll pull you into my scary. Got nothing but clear skies for this. So come on, baby, let me watch you sway. My name is Corey Jackson, I'm from Jonesboro, Arkansas, and I was on season 17 of NBC's The Voice. So what actually got me started in music, um, my grandpa did actually. He, uh, back when I was a junior in high school, he encouraged me to pick up the guitar. He, he played a little bit, he didn't really play out anywhere, but um, he played around at home. And uh, he was like, Corey, I'd, I would really like for you to play with me. And uh, <clears throat> I'd finally come, come to the decision, because at first I wasn't really sure if that was what I wanted to do. Um, but I finally come to the decision that I wanted, if I was going to play, that I wanted him to pick out my first guitar. So I uh, asked him that, and we went around town. We ended up buying my guitar from Backbeat here in town. And... Uh, I just haven't put it down ever since. I fell in love with it. Welcome to NEA On Stage, live at the Forum. I'm Christy Pulliam, Executive and Artistic Director at the Foundation of Arts. I hope you are as inspired as I am by the excellence in these local musicians and performers and by Ritter Communications, who have partnered with us to make this happen for Northeast Arkansas and beyond. The Foundation of Arts has been home to literally thousands of artists over the past 33 years, and we will rise to meet the challenges that are today. That way, we can still be home for everyone who wants to grow together, learn together, heal together, and share in the truth and beauty that is the arts. Thank you so much for being a part of the Foundation of Arts in this way, and enjoy NEA On Stage live at the Forum. At Ritter Communications, we're dedicated to being a caring community partner. We invest in the communities we serve by supporting local nonprofits, academic programs, local athletics, and events that bring us together. We create the connections that strengthen our communities. Ritter Communications, right by you. Kisses her cheek, throws his old Levi's on, puts his boots on his feet, makes a pot of coffee right before he leaves. Sends up a prayer, asking for a good ear, climbs on the tractor. His blood, sweat, and tears poured into the ground as he makes another round. Row by row, he plants the field, kicking the stuff on his heels. Summer heat. He 
stays up all night Doesn't want to repeat last year's drought Time and money's running out Go by road, he plants the field Kicking dust up on his heel Time is here, time to end another year. And oh, he knows his work is never done, so he passes it on to his son. sit and watch the snow slowly fall by the firelight memories linger in my mind of that sweet summer time that I
late night bars to empty cafes Daydream and chill walk in safe Give me anyway. Ooh, forgive me anyway. I have a lot of artists that I listen to that really help mold my sound, I feel like. Uh, I look up to a lot of country artists as well. Um, two that I really look up to would be George Strait and Tim McGraw. And it's, I love their music, but not necessarily because of their music. It's, it's really the way that they carry themselves in interviews, on stage. They're just themselves. And uh, I think that's very important. Uh, every time I get up on stage or I'm in front of a camera or radio or anything like that, I try to just, you know, be myself and uh, I think that's very important to always keep your roots or from where you are, from where you're from, yeah, <laughs> something like that. My name is Raynessa Chandler. I am currently the manager of technical support for Ritter Communications. Ritter is like family in more ways than one. My aunt retired after 33 and a half years here, and currently I have two cousins that work at Ritter. We have a variety of talented individuals. They motivate us and encourage us to do the right thing. We're grateful for the opportunity to work at a place such as Ritter and to be able to help others, because that's what it's all about, serving others. At Ritter Communications, we're dedicated to being a caring community partner. We invest in the communities we serve by supporting local nonprofits, academic programs, local athletics, and events that bring us together. We create the connections that strengthen our communities. Ritter Communications, right by you.
say but That's the way my folks raised me Way back in the country Where the man upstairs is the center of it all It's the way that I grew up It's engraved in my blood There's something most don't understand it's still sealed with the shake of a hand Yes, sir, and no oh, ma'am But these days it's not common to see Being raised with A common courtesy Mama taught me How to Always treat a lady and daddy showed me a better way when I didn't do right. I'm rooted in sweet iced tea, saving grace and my family. You couldn't ask for nothing more in this life. It's the way that I grew up, it's engraved in my blood. Something most don't understand It's still sealed with the shake of a hand Yes, sir, and no oh, ma'am These days it's not common to see Being raised with A common courtesy Salute those who laid down their lives. Oh, what a sacrifice. It's the way we all grew up in this hunter town of 101, where generations have laid down the foundation for us. It's still sealed with the shake of a hand. Yes, sir, and oh, man. Days is not common to see being raised with something I can't forget. Common courtesy, common courtesy. Ooh, common courtesy.
warm or write your hands in the sky The radio's cranked up to ten Easing down the coast, the waves crashing in Looking back at me with those black ray bands She cracks me a smile your hands in the sky, the radio's crane took to ten, easing down the coast, the waves crashing in, looking back at me with those black and gray bands, she cracks me a smile with those sun My name is Raynessa Chandler. I am currently the manager of technical support for Ritter Communications. Ritter is like family in more ways than one. My aunt retired after 33 and a half years here, and currently I have two cousins that work at Ritter. We have a variety of talented individuals. They motivate us and encourage us to do the right thing. We're grateful for the opportunity to work at a place such as Ritter and to be able to help others, because that's what it's all about, serving others. So it is pretty wild how Mary Beth and I met. Um, when we did meet, we knew a lot of the same people, um, but it is crazy that <laughs> we had never actually met each other or knew of each other because of all the people that we know are basically the same. Um, and I've been up in the Blyville uh, area a lot, which I know she's from Armorell, but it's very close. And uh, I was very, very thankful to meet her and her mother there. They really helped make it feel more like home for me. And I hope that I did the same for them because there's, there's just nothing like when you're out somewhere that you haven't been before. And I'd never been that far <laughs> uh, west before. Um, so that, that was tough, but having them there, I was very thankful. And man, she's just incredible. I always, I lo always love getting the opportunity to play with her uh, and just entertain people with her. It's a broken heart, but the moving on is the hardest part. It comes in waves, the letting go, but the memory fades, and everybody knows, everybody knows. What if I'm trying, but then I close my eyes and then I'm right back, lost in that land. Supposed to do, but if I never get over. 
told you What if it never gets better What if this lasts forever And ever And ever I'm trying But then I close my eyes And then I'm right back Lost in that last goodbye What if time doesn't do What it's supposed to do What if I never This one goes out to Mr. Joe Diffie. They were farm kids way down in Dixie, met in high school in the 60s. Love from the start One July In the midnight hour He climbed up on the Water tower Stood on the rail and painted A ten foot heart In John Deere Green On a hot summer night He wrote Billy Bob Love Charlie Letters three foot high And the whole town said That he should have used red But it looked good to Charlene And John Deere Green They settled down on 80 acres Raising sweet corn kids and tomatoes They went together Charlie and John D. Green. Now more than once the town has discovered painting over it ain't no use. There ain't no pain in the world. Showing through in John Deere Green on a hot summer night, he wrote Billy Bob Love Charlene in letters three foot high. And the whole town said the boy should have used red, but it looked good to Charlene. out there in John Deere Green on a hot summer night he wrote Billy Bob Love 
of Charlie. And let us three foot high. And the hometown said the boy should have used red, but it looked good to Charlie. Just a hard way to go. 